you're just tuning in, we're trying to understand this new CBN verification ban allegation. <laughs> <laughs> and what it means for those in the fintech spaces and also the sec warning. We've not talked about sec warning, but we're going to talk about it now. So right. please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 Okay, so Aki, you had one final question on yes, CBN before. Yes, I one, one final question because Isi raised a valid point about, you know, SMEs. small businesses. Yeah. And then right. we know that we have a huge chunk of them that are still on back. Yes. So... How is this going to affect the cost of customer onboarding for the people that have been suspended? Is it going to make banking more expensive right. so for those people? Again, no one's been suspended <laughs> yes. yet. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I well, put well, allegation well, there. Well, allegation, yeah. mm -hmm. So if that, if, that, if that does happen, you are cutting off channels. So this is about options. Again, mm. just using the, um, the MTN example when they were taking off banking platforms for a while. So I use the fintech to load my credits right so if onboarding it's like these four glasses that are on here if you cut off two of them and put them to the side you're only leaving two, two on the table you are now they think of all the channels of folks that are yeah. approaching this table Absolutely. to get onboarded through these portals you take two of them off you're reducing it and you are going to you're going to cause problems mm -hmm. as far as um them getting on there so look what technology is doing is giving you options mm -hmm. right that's that's the name of the game. And the government and, is cutting the options. Aha, uh -huh, so that's if this turns out to be factual. Allegedly. Allegedly. So <laughs> you need more options and that's why you, you know you want to be able to give an ease of doing business, open free space for as many of them to allow um on board these SMEs and so Okay, so SEC is uh -huh. warning <laughs> SEC is warning fintech companies that are trading foreign um, stocks. stocks. Right. What does that mean? Okay, so it, they, they, the post they put out was unregulated online companies that are trading in foreign foreign stocks. So according to, and they've now put these um, uh, rules and Maybe they should flash that picture, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's um, SEC, that's the security. There yeah. it is, thank yeah. you. So what's highlighted there in, in, in yellow, yellow is they said any foreign securities listed on any exchange registered in Nigeria may be, it, sorry, let me start from the top, from the top. So they're saying that essentially that in order for you to trade stocks, any foreign securities have to be listed on any exchange registered in Nigeria and in order for it to be issued. So before any of us at this table or anybody else wants to buy a foreign stock, it has to be listed on an exchange Why? here in Nigeria. Now, that's the confusing thing. So, if, if you want to buy Apple or Tesla, Let me ask Apple or Tesla Wait, has to be registered it, here. Do you know why I said that is very tricky? It, it is really annoying. Right. You know that your economy is unstable. Mm. A lot of people now are saying that, you know what, they want to move their money to Forex because it seems like that is the only way that's I can gain sanity. Right. Yes. Yes. No, Wait, let me finish <laughs> now. Let me finish. Uh -huh. So, somebody is now telling me that I cannot go and buy it. When I see where Tesla is going, right. that they are going to they are going to make me a billionaire <laughs> in yeah. the future. How right. can how do I mean, like, who so, brings all these regulations? Yeah, so the thing is, the SEC is the Securities and Exchange Commission. They are the ones that regulate all capital market activity. Yeah. And the thing is, these companies that allow you, the online, the micro-investing platforms that are, use apps that allow you to buy stocks overseas, uh -huh. they have partnerships with um, uh, what they call CMOs, capital market operators. So they, are, they, are, they partner with companies that are registered with the SEC. So mm -hmm. we all thought everything was fine, but the SEC now came out and said, no, it's not fine. Per our rules and regulations, you know, that's not the case. The securities have to be registered here. So they are engaging them because the companies themselves are not brokers. If you're going to buy a stock anywhere, you need a broker and a brokerage service. The broker is the one who takes your order. I want to buy Tesla, I want to yes. buy Apple, I want to buy whatever. Okay, they take your order. So they've partnered with them and they are part these um, brokers are registered with the US SEC and registered with the Nigerian SEC that allows this to take place. So again, people are wondering, yeah, are they afraid of dollars going out from? or you know is dollar demand that's causing it or is it you know okay. what's the issue here but the sec is the again like the cbn when it comes to capital market matters the sec is the the oracles and so you know they are they, they, what, from what, I, what i understand this is the gist though mm -hmm. i understand that the sec wants to bring out a new license that makes them register with that new license which will cause them to pay dues oh. and so on oh. and then it's I because from there. <laughs> Let me put a joke. Erica, big brother, bought Tesla shares. And that's so now, <laughs> now they know that the Tesla shares are available because I do not understand. Yeah, I know that was. I mean, because people have been. They've but been can I, as an individual, though, sorry, um, yeah, 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 yeah. can I, as an individual, look for an international broker? Just help me yeah, buy. Look, um, uh, 
there's options. And yes. completely cut them off. Exactly. So but the thing is, though, what makes it easier, because because they're here in Nigeria, you can use Naira, oh. and they will convert mm -hmm. it easily for you to dollars and buy the stocks you want. If you are to okay. go international, you now have to go and source your dollars, mm -hmm. put it in an account over there, mm -hmm. and then now, um, it now it rest. so there's, it's a bit more, again, Ease. Mm. Of business. Ease of business, ease of options, making it easier for you. That's what tech is doing. So that's what they've been trying to do. And well, yeah, there we are. Okay, so let me look at it in another way. Of course. Because, you know, the if you look at the caption of the, the communique, mm. it says proliferation of unregistered online investment and trading platforms. Right. Is there a good year that we are not seeing? Are they afraid of the fact that, you know, there might be a loophole in the fact that, you know, these things are everywhere and mm. everyone is doing it? Right. You know, is there, do I want to believe that there's some protection for the population? <laughs> <laughs> do you see any part of this being positive? Posi no, I don't see it positive. Because, because again, you're, you're, you're restricting them and you're causing them. Mm -hmm. th these people have, they've, they've have um, um, IT people. They've got salespeople. Mm -hmm. These things are creating jobs, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Every single one of these platforms are. They're hiring people. They're giving young people the chance to, to be uh, involved in work. If you're now coming out and saying you can't do this anymore, then you're halting their progress, and then you're you are putting a stop to their operations, and it's, it's an issue. So again, they're saying what they have heard from the platforms is that, look, the SEC wants to bring. All this is just for them to bring out a new license and say, oh, yeah, come and register here with this particular license. We'll be able to track you some more. So hopefully this is just a temporary stopgap. Do you think there should have been another way they should have done they've this? Been, see, I've talked to them. They said we've been, they've been talking to them all this time. They've been they're in dialogue with mm. them, right? They're like, you could have just talked to us and just made a phone call, call a meeting. Wait, we'll, now you just come out and make this announcement. So this again, it's the communication, like you said earlier. It's, it's very what weird. Is, yeah. This license, is it, is it, is it a pot of beans? Is it cheap? It's, well, no, I know you <laughs> These licenses yeah. are expensive. So wait, now what happens to the people that already paid licenses to these other companies right. be able to run the business? Do they even understand in, the impact of some of these decisions that they make so on businesses? Exactly. Now you're going to have to make them pay an, another license when there's already an Existing one. So again, it just it's it's overhead. And I think he will be tackling me when I'm telling them. <laughs> no, I'm not tackling you. you. Wait, I am not see, tackling it's like ease of doing business is only on paper in this country because right. it's not practical. Because right. most times when you now want to really do those businesses, mm. you see that there's so many bottlenecks for, for and you Correct. claim that you're a, com a country that is pushing ease of doing, doing business. business. Right. To, uh, <laughs> want to respond? You want to respond? Yeah. And I want to respond. <laughs> Please, I'm not tackling you. <laughs> I am not tackling you. I I tend to offer clarification yes. mm. on some matters mm. because I remember we were talking about infrastructures that are in place. I don't know if you would agree with me that there are infrastructures in place, but are they working? Correct. That is the problem. We do have a platform today that you can you're supposedly go, supposed to go and register your business without any help. Right, the Corporate Affairs Commission. Yeah, exactly. CAC, is it right. available? Right. If is you there? put it on the internet, will it come out? Yes. Mm. But would you be able to <laughs> successfully complete the transaction, right. transaction right. That's, without that's needing the anyone? That's what right. the problem is. So, mm. sister, I'm not tackling you. <laughs> well, let's take comments from our audience. <laughs> okay. Let's take comments from our audience. Let me take from Benson. It says, Gov um, interestingly, there is no one or system that can stop a change whose time has come. Mm. Governors need to wake up and smell the coffee. The more the Nigerian government continues to be reactive on all opportunities, they continue to suppress the growth expansion that eventually em uh, empowers the citizens. The apparent uh, laid-back disposition of our governance continuously breeds anarchy and poverty. That's from Benson. Mm. Then you have some AK okay. with you. Okay. Um, so I have this one from Tony from uh, Munich in Germany. He says, Good evening, ladies and Nigerians. I just want to speak on the CBN issue. Mm. Nigerian government is full of negative surprises. <laughs> Don't be surprised. One morning you will hear that Nigeria and Nigerians have been sold out. I maintain again, Nigerians should wake up. Wow. Mm. Okay, the, there, is no, there is no name here. And this says, government should never strangle but to explore, expand, and optimize every opportunity, be it local or global, if the government wills it they can do it. Mm. Now, this also calls to mind somebody who said that the government we have is actually hustling the civilians. Mm -hmm. Not <laughs> actually, we do, we do not have a government. We have so, hustlers mm. as government. Brutus, yeah. we have lamented. Yes. Mm. <laughs> What's the way forward? <laughs> I, look, the way forward is to just hope that, you know, there's more clarity. Um, they allow businesses to thrive because, you know, unfortunately, they, they hold... Um, 
the future of these firms it in their hands. Yeah, 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 and the knife, there it is. So exactly. it's just to keep appealing, keep engaging, and hopefully we get more, um, mm. more um, uh, positive vibes from the government, from hopefully, I mean, at this point. You know why I say so? I mean, I never thought it was possible to, to be able to get businesses that would grow at such short time. Mm. But tech, fintech, yes. has proven otherwise. Correct. I mean, we're seeing so much growth in that space. It is alarming. And it's also not just growth alone within locally. It is attracting global attention. Correct, yeah. Yes. So if we were to now sit down to say we're talking to the government and maybe they're listening to us, you know, what should be the things that we should be telling them? Because it seems like we are, we are just talking, but it's like they do not understand it. Mm. And every time they are just looking at because for me, I'll still go back. This our government, it seems like everything's about politics for them. Right, yes. Right. They are not seeing that this is actually going to get a lot of young people employed. It's going to get a unemployed. lot of young... Mm. No, it will get them employed. employed right. It will get a lot of people, you know, so much opportunities that they will not even need you as a government right. mm -hmm. exactly. to, be, to be all right. right. That's mm -hmm. the problem we are now. They will now not need you as a government. No, what but... That's what I said. That's So there, is, there yeah. needs to be that constant need to to create a need for the government because to sometimes, feel relevant right yes to feel right. relevant because right. by the time you start doing most things for yourself mm. you become wealthy and can create wealth which they exactly. can tax ah, which that is what we're so which they can for tax. me i yeah. feel that the government should shift focus you just mentioned in the uk mm. if you come up with better instruments to regulate Come up with better decisions to, okay, so do you want to capture this? How do you do it? And I believe that this country has the knowledge, has the requisite res, knowledge. Oh, of course. And people that can do this. Of course. I don't know why we are not doing it. Do. Know what what wrote to help us to answer this question? Because well, look, the thing is, unfortunately, <laughs> some of the positions in government, um, there's the feeling that not the best the best qualified people are actually there that mean. understand how these uh, businesses work. You need more technocrats to understand these things. So, you know, we just, again, there's, there's an election coming up in less than two years. You, um, you just have to, the, the private sector guys just have to lobby. They have to lobby and engage and hope that they can you know, see things uh, their way. The telco sector has been the one bit of success I can, I can point to as far as I think GDP growth Q4 telcos did like 17 or 16 percent so again that's down to a passenger selling off Nitel no. reopening that sector and you know allowing it to move forward so you've got to see that privatizing it right and so I mean just think of the explosion think of call centers that people you can answer you answer exactly. the phone when you call them if your phone screen cracks you can go get it fixed that's a job that's been created you know, exactly. you know so that's so the telco sector has been you know at least the one sh shining light to an extent for Nigeria so okay. we want to see that replicated in other you see that telco that you're talking about it's yeah. older people that are there uh, right. you see fintech <laughs> it's true fintech is people like you and i right, no, right. we're in our 30s right. no it's right. true right. Oh, right. Auntie, let me oh, okay, sorry, auntie. because now <laughs> there is a lot of influx of digital banks yes. coming up from everywhere yeah. i mean if yes. you go online there's one kuda there's this one everywhere there are digital banks waking up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so okay so what is the difference right. between your traditional bank and your digital bank you know when it comes to the kinds of things that um, benefits that will come to a CBN, for instance, mm. maybe they are not seeing that benefit, you know. So what do you think they, the difference is? They want is? to regulate them, yes. right? They want to be able to control and see who is coming into the space and who is, you know, playing the space. Now, another suspicion from this other, this non-bank uh, BVN thing was that the establishment legacy banks are afraid, right? Again, that's another speculation. Is it? Is it? It's, it's, it's up there, you know. So. The difference between the digital bank and the, and the, and the traditional bank is a brick up. Is it once a physical structure? Yeah. The other one is you can just on your bank. Your bank is on your phone, right? Yes. So you can do everything you need. They can order a virtual card and so on and so forth. But again, the regulators should just be like, hey, look, I'm just going to oversee everything, make sure everybody's playing by the rules, and let them let them move. So, but the traditional banks are a bit again with the telco thing and back to MT and their t the tit for tat on that USSD thing. They might be a little bit worried, but they shouldn't be because they are legacy banks. They've got your dad and mom's history, your history. You know, and people they still. Our history. Well, I think, and our children's <laughs> history. I think, I they are think. still there, so there should be harmony between the two, and yeah. these regulators should align. Yeah, and I know that this happen. talk also as banking as a service, yes. and I think it's, it's beginning to come here, and people are going to take it important. But we, I don't see that working if we have these restrictions mm -hmm. and right. if we have everything. So for me, the future is collaboration, and it's for the benefit of the populace. 
Indeed. Really. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. It's for the benefit of the public. And I feel <clears throat> that Nigeria is large enough for everybody to eat and be satisfied. No, Very true. Just want to Help me tell them, them. Yeah. tell them, because exactly. I think it's that eating and be satisfied. That is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when yeah. 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 say something. No, I, I have a comment from Lafia. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Nas Naspoli, Mr. Agu Naspoli. He says, um, okay, Naspoli Lafia. That's where he's watching from. He okay. says, watching from Lafia, Nasara State. Oh, wow. Your program is educating and inspiring. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah, Ago. You know, so now, you know, first of all, I want to say thank you so much, Rotus. Because, yeah. you see, <laughs> before Rotus came on TV, <laughs> I, I hate business. You see, the, my mouth is sharp. It's because I listen to Rotus like every yeah. single day, twice yeah. a day. Thank you. you no, know, because thank you. Um, so you, 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 you thank made, you. You've made me very, very interested in business. I told them, I said, I want to be a billionaire. <laughs> and there's no how you, you want to be, it. there's no how you can be a billionaire without learning about Financial what's happening right. in the business right. world. So right. for that, I just wanted to you know, put it out there. Thank, uh, thank you. you so much. You're doing a great job. Thank I you. really I'm enjoyed the global. I've so many fans. Thank I'm you. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep such company on your Lagos for who to walk. You shall know that you're on the road. Yeah. Right? So oh, I'm you. just I begging you. them. Can you tell them that they should please make you finance minister? Maybe. Ah, <laughs> wow. 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 Maybe. Speak it into existence. You'll be Speak connected over one. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm not even talking about the connection. Yeah, I just okay. need somebody that the head is correct <laughs> to be there so that, you know, because um, I'll still go back again. That's, this is our future of honestly course. tech mm. is our future there's nothing mm -hmm. and they said if you, you know you used to say oh the future is the future is already here, future is yeah. already here. you know so yes. i'm just i'm just hoping that you know the government so if you had one final like word to give mm. to the government is to talk about i mean the sec one into fintech trading foreign stocks and also the cbn mm. speculated ban yes. what would that be like your final comment to the government you know if they're watching please speak plain English and do it quickly so mm -hmm. we, our, mind, our minds can settle. Absolutely. Yeah. I think there's no better way to put it. <laughs> Ladies, do you want to add anything to yeah, that? Just no. close. He has <laughs> it up. Oh, I know. That was my take. Just please speak can something we can, we can understand. <laughs> because you know, Nigerians, we are I'm resilient. I'm a marketing one. I need to understand you. <laughs> we are resilient. We would always find a way. There's something exactly. this government yeah. needs to know. We would always find a way. We cannot be... See, for you to leave and succeed in, in this, this country, country. Mm -hmm. you're a winner that's all yeah, exactly. if you just know it you're a winner wherever you are that <laughs> you live here and you're up. succeeding <laughs> thank you so much it's thank been you, an ladies. amazing thank amazing you. conversation thank you. time just flew by just like that so. yeah yes yeah, so <laughs> all right so ways was birthed from the need to inform inspire and influence lives towards action and this year we started our csr focused on curbing unemployment in nigeria so if you're a company please partner with us by allocating internship slots and if you're a job seeker keep watching ways and follow us on all our social media handles as this will be an all year round engagement so tell your friends to keep all eyes on ways in case you missed today's quotes AK is going to add it he missed it let me let us read it to him we still have some more time so we can read it it say here it is government's view of the economy could be summed up in in a few short phrases one if it moves tax it <laughs> if it keeps moving regulate it and if it stops moving subsidize it okay you added one if it breaks, ban, ban it. it. <laughs> if you do not understand it, ban, ban it. it. <laughs> if you are not making money from it, ban, ban it. it. <laughs> so we'll see you live on Monday at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> <laughs>